Hi, this is Josh from Brown Dog Gadgets, and today we're going to show you how to make an interactive NASA t-shirt. We got our shirt off Amazon, as well as this really cool space shuttle patch. You're also going to need some scissors, a 3 AA battery holder, some of our crazy circuits parts such as our touch board, a screw terminal, some LEDs, as well as, most importantly, a bunch of conductive thread. This is a bit more involved project than most that we do. You'll find full diagrams and a write-up on crazycircuits.com. This is just a brief overview to give people a little bit of an idea of what they'll be making as well as some basic directions. We like to start things out by laying all of our parts on our NASA shirt. This just gives an idea where things will go and you can totally feel free to move things around as you want. We're going to use one LED for the exhaust of our space shuttle, as well as four LEDs that will blink and fade on and off. Since we're using the Crazy Circuits touch board, we have to make an interactive touch area on our shirt. We're making a conductive thread lattice inside of each of the letters of NASA. That will be our touch point, our single touch point, to interact with the shirt. A highly motivated sewer could make each of the NASA letters be its own touch point, each one a different button, so to speak, but that's way more sewing than we wanted to do. First, we're going to start out by using regular thread, in this case black regular thread, to sew all of our pieces down. This will just make things easier in the future, and we want them in place. To start things out, we're going to make a single common ground for the entire project. This will just make things easy with all of our LEDs and it's a good place to start. So the entire bulk of the project is basically very careful stitching going from a single hole on the touch board to a single LED and doing that five different times. Just being very careful not to overlap our thread to make a quote-unquote short circuit. You can go under thread if you want, but it really helps to do just individual lines of thread. As you can see, the more careful you are, the better. To make things easy, we're using a screw terminal to go from a 3 AA battery holder to our crazy circuits board. If you want, you could run the entire thing off USB, but we just like using a battery. It makes life a lot more simple. At some point along the way, we also hooked up the NASA letters to the touch board, just a single line of thread coming from the letters to our touch point on the, on the board. Once you've done that, you're pretty much done with the electronics. You can test it out, see how things are going, and hopefully this is what happens. The way our code works is the red LED that's coming out of the exhaust of the shirt is always on. When you touch the letters, you turn on and off the twinkly stars in the background. Simple one touch on, simple one touch off. Nothing too fancy. Again, you could reprogram this and do other things, but we're keeping things easy on this shirt. The code can be found on our website, as well as more detailed directions and diagrams. At the end, we're going to use some regular thread to sew the patch on, as well as make a pocket to hold the 3 AA battery holder and protect our touch board so nobody accidentally touches it or knocks it around. Overall, this project isn't as much difficult as it is time-consuming and tedious. There's a lot of sewing involved, a lot of careful sewing. If you already know to sew, this should actually not be that tough of a project for you. For more information on Crazy Circuits and our Crazy Circuits touch board, visit crazycircuits.com. We also have more projects and codes and activities, so if there's something that interests you, check it out. Hopefully we can help you out with a project or two. Thanks!